Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back. Welcome back. You guys see the banner at the end of your screen. We're talking young reggae boy, Tyree McGee. Seeing McGee did an interview on Sportsmax earlier this week. And I, I found the interview interesting. I mean, obviously, I watched. And I wanted to speak on a particular aspect of the interview, right? The part in which he was, you know, bemoaning his struggle, so to speak, in Europe in terms of his struggle where getting game time is concerned at UPenn in Belgium, Europe. I wanted to talk a little bit about that, you know. I had seen the video about probably half an hour, about 30 minutes after it had dropped the interview, and I had posted a comment in the comment section, but I wanted to get a little bit more into it or flesh it out a little bit more. See, now, by the way, knock up like button, subscribe, and share. Um, when I see Tyreek Maggie playing in Belgium, ladies and gentlemen, from a technical standpoint, he looks ready to me. See, he looks like he possesses the technical ability to be able to cut it at that level, right? Now, a lot of people, the rhetoric seems to be, or it has always been for the most part, that his defensive contribution is not enough. And while I think that in the past that was a very fear criticism of Tyreek Maggie's game, to be fair, in recent times, whenever I have seen him play for both club and country, he has seemed to have done a lot of work where that is concerned. He himself admitted it in the interview. Right now, I don't think his defensive contribution is the main issue at hand. I think the main issue right now for Tyree McGee is that he needs to start consistently expressing and asserting himself in football games, right? That right now, I think, is the main issue at hand for Tyree McGee. He needs to be brave and he needs to start to find the confidence to be able to grab games by the scruff of the neck. Seeing he needs to come out of his shell. Right now, Maggie, I play too timid and scaredy, scaredy. Cautious and cagey. That is what I see when I watch Maggie's performances in Belgium, right? I haven't seen, he has played Five times so far this season, seeing he made the first seven match day squads. Featured in five of those seven games, but in the last 10 games for you, Penn, him not even make the match day squad. Now, most of those five performances I saw, and me personally, I'm just being honest with what I saw from Tyree McGee in those particular games. Me I said to myself, say yo, the ball and not express himself. He now come out and shell. See, it's, it's almost as if he doesn't want to make a mistake. Seeing he's thinking about it rather than playing freely. It's almost as if it's the mentality of, oh, this might be the last chance or this might be the big chance to impress or to, you know, to get my career off the ground, so to speak. Let me not make a mistake, right? He is not playing freely, in my humble opinion. Tyreek McGee needs to realize that he's a young player. It's okay for him to make mistakes. Seeing especially as a creative player, it's okay for him to make mistakes. Creative players probably make the most mistakes in games. He has to realize that it is okay and embrace that he needs to take more risk. He is playing far too cautiously, in my humble opinion. As I said, thinking about it and not playing freely. It's almost as if he doesn't trust his ability. Or he doesn't know his ability. He's not fully aware of the quality 
that he possesses because I personally believe, ladies and gentlemen, that Tyreek McGee possesses the quality to cut it at a very high level, right? The question has to be asked, and he said this in the interview as well. He made mention of it in the interview that he's alone in Belgium. See, remember Taxi was in Belgium, remember Boza was in Belgium, and those two players have subsequently left Belgium. He's alone in Belgium, no family, right? Same only got his the, the stadium back home, stadium back home. Seeing that's what he said in the interview, right? Is anxiety a problem because he's alone in Belgium? Because you know, you know, when you isolate yourself like that, anxiety starts to kick in. You know? So is that a problem that is affecting his confidence? Does he need to address that? All I know is Tyree McGee needs to find that confidence at Cass Eupen. Tyree McGee needs to remember his performance against Catalonia. Now, I know that there has been a lot of debate, right? But most people that I hear speak on Tyree McGee's performance against Catalonia speak very highly of it, right? When I say a lot of debate, there, there were some people, because we did pick up our six we did get, some people seem to be of the opinion that nobody never played good for reggae boys team in that particular game. But in my humble opinion, and from a lot of people that I hear speak on that particular performance, Tyree McGee did very, very well against Catalonia. Remember, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Catalonia is a team, you know, that had a number of players in him. As a matter of fact, basically, basically the entire squad, if memory serves me right, or certainly the entire starting eleven, consisted of players who were starting for clubs in top five leagues in Europe. Even, for instance, a, a Pogue who wasn't starting for Barcelona had featured a number of times that season for Barcelona. Seeing so we're talking about a big football club, we're talking about rather, you know, a, a big team, so to speak, filled with players who are doing reasonably well at a very high level, a top five league in Europe level. Tyree Maggie in that particular game did very, very well. If you possess the ability to display that level of technical ability against a team like Catalonia, what is stopping you from displaying that in a country like Belgium? In the Belgian Pro League, if you can do that against players in top five leagues in Europe, it is clear to me, ladies and gentlemen, in my humble opinion, that Tari Magee's ability is being bottled. It is being caged. Right? The ball I need for come out time. Shell, he might play too timid most every time when I see him play. Right, that is the thing that come to my mind. He might play too timid. See, for me personally though, I'm not worried about Tyreek McGee. All it takes for a young baller with the ability that McGee possesses is just to relax and have one big game. That's all it takes for Tyreek McGee. Just relax. And have that one big game and all of his fears and all of his worries will be banished. And once he has that one big game under his belt, trust me, the, the, the impact that that can have on his players and a young players' confidence, right? I am sure once he has that one big game going forward, Tyreek McGee, will find the confidence that he needs, right, to light up the Belgian Pro League. See, there's a new coach at Cassio Pen, a very young coach at that, right, recently hired, right, recently, recently hired. See, so, you know, hopefully Tyreek McGee can find his footing at a struggling Cassio Pen before the season is out in Belgium. Tyreek McGee, this is his last season on his contract. I don't know if he will resign. I don't know if the club will want him to resign. I don't know if he will have the opportunity to resign. I don't know if he will 
want to take his services elsewhere and try and get a fresh start. But this is his last season at UPenn. Hopefully, hopefully he can find his footing in professional football before the season is out. Knock up the like button, subscribe and share. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think on this particular video that I have done. Take care, guys. Stay safe and until next time.